Welcome back guys. This is Ashwin. In this video, we are going to solve the problem poisonous plants. There are a number of plants in a garden. Each of these plants has been treated with some amount of pesticide. After each day, if any plant has more pesticide than the plant on its left, being weaker than the left one, it dies. You are given the initial values of the pesticide in each of the plants. Print the number of days after which no plant dies. That is, the time after which there are no plants with more pesticide content than the plant to the left. For example, pesticides levels are given 3, 6, 2, 7, 5. So the condition is left side plant should have higher pesticide level than the current one. So here to the left of 3, there is no plant. And for uh, 6, the left side plant pesticide is less. So 6 will die. And for 2, 3 will be higher. So, so it's not a problem. For 7, it is greater than 2. So 7 will be dead. And for 5, it is lesser than 7. So it won't be dead in the first day. So on the first day, plants 2 and 4 will die. Using the 1 index array, day 1, plants 2 and 4 die, leaving plants 3, 2, 5. So on the second day, we will be comparing 3. Again, there are no plants to the left. For 2, the pesticide level is higher to the left. So 2 won't die. For 5, the pesticide level is lower to the left. So 5 will die. On day 2, plan 3 of the current array dies leaving 3 and 2. As there is no plant with the higher concentration of pesticide than the one to its left, plants stop dying after day 2. So this is the result we are going to get after solving the problem. So here you can go for a brute force approach and an optimal approach. For brute force approach, you are going to compare the current element to the left element. If the element to the left is lesser level of pesticide means, you will be deleting the current element. Like that, you will do the operations until no plant dies. While doing the operations, you can keep track of the day and finally you can print the day. But it will definitely take around order of n square. That is a worst case time complexity. But I'm going to solve in order of n, that is linear time complexity. I'm going to use a stack to store the plants with the pesticide, how many days they are going to live. Using those days, I'm going to find the maximum day so that the plant stops dying. So I'll be explaining the whole logic while writing the code. Let's see the constraints now. Here n can go up to 10 to the power of i and the pesticide level can go up to 10 to the power of 9. For n, can go up to the maximum of 10 to the power of 5. So we can solve this problem using the brute force approach. Still, I am choosing the optimal approach. Let's see an example. Here we have some level of pesticides. Initially, all plants are alive. So if we compare from the left means 6 will be alive, 5 will be alive, 8 will be dead, 4 will be alive, 7 will die, 10 will die. After the first day, plants 3, 5 and 6 die. So 3, 5 and 6 will die. After the second day, plant 7 dies. That is this 9. After the end of 7th day, 6, 5, 4 will be remaining so that all the plants stop dying. Okay, we have understand the basics of the problem of how it works. Let's solve the problem now. First, we are going to initialize few variables. Let's initialize the stack. Stack equals an empty list and max day. To show the maximum day that the plants stop dying. Now, after that, I'm going to iterate each plant from the list P. So for plant in P, I'm going to create a temporary variable called day to calculate the number of days alive for the current plant. So day equals zero. Now we will go for the main logic. Main logic. While stack, that means if stack is not empty and stack of minus one of zero. So in the stack, I'm going to store the pesticide level content in the zeroth index. And in the first index, I'm going to store the number of days that the plant going to be alive. 
So I am getting the plant's pesticide from the top of the stack greater than or equal to plant. If it satisfies the condition, I am going to do this operation. Day equals max of day comma stack dot pop of one. I am going to find the maximum of these two values and store it in the variable called day. So if the condition satisfies, that is, that is the current plant is lesser than the top of the plant, we are going to pop the top from the stack and get the day from it. Comparing these two days, whichever is the maximum will be assigned to the variable called day. Okay. And after the while loop ends, if stack, if stack has some elements means day plus equals one. Else day equals zero. If the stack has some elements means we are incrementing the day by one. If the stack has no elements means the day will be zero. After that, we are going to find the maximum day. Max day equals max of max day comma day. It will store the maximum number of days that the plants going to live in the max day variable. After this, we are going to store the current plant day inside a stack. So stack dot append a list plant that is the plant pesticide content after that day. This will keep track of the number of plants that are going to die. Finally, we will return max day. That completes our whole logic of this problem. Still, the code looks like uh, somewhat easier, but it is uh, somewhat difficult to understand because you need to trace each output. If I want to convey it in a simple terms means the plants which have continuously greater elements. That means here you can see five. After that, eight is there. We have one greater element for four. Here seven and ten is there. So we have two greater elements. If we have some plants that are going to die continuously means definitely it will increase the number of days that maximum days is stored in the variable. OK, let's trace this problem in order to understand it clearly. So stack equals initially the stack is empty. If the stack is empty, day will be zero and we are going to append plant comma day. So plant is having six pesticide level and day is zero. After that, phi is there. So the stack is not empty. We are popping out the element from the stack and it is also zero. So the day will be zero. And after that, the stack is empty. Again, we are going to store phi comma zero. So we will be popping out this. After that, the stack will be changing like this phi comma zero. Now eight. Eight doesn't satisfy the condition and the stack has some element. So we will increment the day by one and store that particular day. So it will be having eight comma one. And the max day will be one. After a day, some plant is going to be dead. That is the eight. Now the plant is four. Four is satisfying the condition that is comparing with eight. So it will pop the element. 8 will be popped out and after that 5 will be there. 5 is also satisfying the condition 5 greater than or equal to 4. So it's again popping out the element. The maximum day will be 4 but the stack will be empty. So the day will be assigned 0 and the max day will always be 1 because we already found after a day some plant is going to be dead. So the max day won't be changing and plan comma day. So we will be popping out all of this. Instead of that, 4, 0. We are starting from scratch. Now, 7 is not satisfying the condition. Stack has some element. So we will be incrementing the day and store it inside the stack. That will be 7, 1. Now, the element is 10. It's not satisfying the condition. And we have some elements in the stack. Before that, day is initialized to 0. So day will be incremented by one and the max day is also one. It will be updated like this 10 comma one. Now for the last element. 
10 is greater than 9. So it is satisfies the condition. It will be popping out the element 10. So 10 will be popped out and day is stored as 1. Stack has some elements. So day will be incremented by 1. So day will be 2. After that, we are calculating the max day. Now max day will be updated to 2. After that, we are storing this element. That will be 9, comma 2. We have got our answer. So I already mentioned in the simple terms that if continuously two plants have increasing number of pesticides means the day will also keep on increasing and the maximum day will be stored in the max day. You can also work out with some other examples if you didn't understand it properly. If you have any other logic other than this, please share it in the comment below. It will be very helpful for others to get some insights from it. Let's run the code now. It passed the sample test case. Let's submit it. Yeah, we solved the problem. If you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for future videos. See you guys in the next video.